guy in town took his gang over and did all that stuff. Yep. And that's the guy who was trying to blow up the station? Yep. And he's in Blackgate now? Yep. Ah, ah, something out there. Whatever these relays are protecting, it can't be good. I should destroy any more I come across. Maybe the glue grenade can stop the steam here. Not Bane, but one of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. All available units, we've received reports of shots fired inside the Coventry district. Witnesses describe two armed groups fighting over what appear to be chemical weapons. Requesting any available officers locate and secure the scene. Chemical weapons? I should investigate.
I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. Critical time. Bane gave him other orders. Concern yourself only with the orders Bane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot say. Are you on the list? Ah, I am third in line. Good luck to you, mi hermano. Hopefully the formula will be perfected by the time it comes to you. My life is Bane's to command. It will be an honor to lay it down for his cause. And I pray you do not freeze before you get your chance. <laughs> Damn this city.
tracking signal I saw was coming from somewhere down that tunnel. I should try to use my blue grenade to create a raft. Tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Some of this research is dedicated to overcoming his impressive work, but it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on the brain's memory centers.
knows who I am. You're not safe at Wayne Manor. Got it. I'll call the police. No, I can't risk them discovering my identity as well. Just secure yourself in the Batcave. What are you going to do? I'm on my way to you. I'll figure something out. I need to get back to the Batcave, and quickly. Joker's behind bars, and he's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 6-5 to dispatch. Who's the OIC of Pioneers? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. A lot of lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. Try anything stupid. Kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Uh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. Fly away from the bridge so I can approach safely. sends his men into a trap. Dispatch, this is Marine 4. Where's the tactical command post? We're supposed to report to Gordon. TCP is inside the center pillar at the base of the bridge. 10-4.
He's a cop, Harvey. He'll do his job. Sierra 9, are you in position? Don't send in your men. Firefly has the bridge rigged with explosives. Show yourself! You have a go! No! Call them back. If Firefly blows the bridge, there's no telling how many will die. You're the reason those people are in danger. He's doing this for the bounty on your head. Give yourself up! I'm going to bring in Firefly myself. Don't send anyone else in until I tell you it's safe. You'll stay the hell out of this! You hear me? One of these guards tell me how many bombs Firefly has and where they are.
Make one of these guards tell me how many bombs Firefly has and where they are. So, what are you gonna do with your shit? Hey, I'm gonna buy a boat. Uh, oh, 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 this is supposed to be. Hey, I found something! I think it belongs to him! I know I heard it!
Frag. Wait, he's still alive. Need a hand over here. Oh man, you messed you up bad. Stand there, untie me. You've been after the bounty on my head all night. It was never Sionis. The Joker put up the bounty, and now he's behind bars. I heard, but I still got a score to settle with you. I'm giving you the rest of the night off. as hostages in a train car with explosives.
Bravo 2, this is command. Report. Source of explosion was an oil truck on the bridge surface. Massive damage. No casualties observed. Copy. Keep me informed. I'm not sure. They sure beat the hell out of those goons. Open the fire door in the train depot so I can disarm Firefly's bomb at the north end of the bridge. Get off this frequency! Now! Listen, I'm on my way to disarm the bomb at the south end. Have this door open by the time I get back. You let me do my job, and stay the hell out of my way! Damn it. Alfred, there's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to those codes. Perhaps Captain Gordon... Gordon won't cooperate. I'm heading to get the other bomb. Get those codes to me by the time I'm done. Right. I'll do my best. Wait a minute, there's someone moving around down there. Possible Batman's button. Track 
Captain Dawkins. Negative. Stay to your assigned patrol. If Firefly spots your target, he can set up his bombs. Roger that. Ten men. Please, don't give me that baloney. He's only one guy, and there's no way one guy could have done all this. You think we should radio Firefly and let him know the bat's here? We don't know the bat's here yet, and Firefly will burn us to a crisp if we're wrong. Let's wait till we're sure, huh? I'm sure. Who else can do this? I don't know. Like the National Guard or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. But maybe it was Santa Claus and his army of angry rangers. I'm telling you, it was the best. <laughs> All 
units. We are breaching. Move in, people. Gordon, I've defused three of the four bombs. As soon as I defuse the final bomb... We're breaching now. You're too late. Alfred, open the fire door. As you wish, sir. This is an automated alert. We are experiencing an emergency. Please proceed calmly to the nearest exit.
grapple on the Firefly. Don't give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given the bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. Eh. You didn't listen. I'm not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. Alfred, can you hear me? I'm going to get you out of there. Alfred! Alfred! Alfred, you can't. Don't add me to the weight you carry. Come on, damn it! All units, all units, Code 10. Code 10 confirmed at Blackgate Prison. Suspect identified as the Joker. supportive of what you do, but I 
understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I can't even defend my own home. Master Bruce. Now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own. But it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. The one alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riot at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No, they need us. Thanks. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him, then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Yes, sir. We're on it. Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA at Blackgate? Be ready by the time you're here. Sir, I've been listening to the reports coming out of Blackgate. Everything okay? I should be asking you that. How are you feeling? Well, it's not every day that one's heart must be crudely resuscitated by defibrillation, but I must say I feel remarkably well, considering. Good to hear. Any arrhythmia, let me know immediately. Of course. But honestly, Bruce, I do think you have bigger things to worry about right now. is sending a strong electric current into the water. I should be careful.
How much further? We're almost there. I can taste the fresh air. No! So sad. <laughs>
Batman. I should check on the hostages before leaving. They may be able to point me in the Joker's direction. Are you okay? What's it to you? You were almost killed. Eh, occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon, and he's waiting for you. Apparently, the Joker's afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried.
of which one of us it is, is in your hands. A compassionate man would be home, mourning the loss of his servant and lifelong companion right now. Yet here you are. Right, my family. Chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. 
This is how the bat finally falls. I can use my shock gloves to temporarily stop Bane's heart. It's my only hope. It's over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah. Put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? <laughs> Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> I'm glad you had your vest on. He's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go.
choice. <laughs> Mr. Wayne. Alfred, I've defeated Bane. <laughs> 
you hear me? Yes. Thank you for the help with Bane. I trust he's down for good this time. He's secure, and it appears the TN1 Bane took damaged his memory permanently. Ah, does that mean he won't be revealing your identity? Looks that way. Glad to hear it, sir. And the Joker? He's still on the loose, but not for long. This is Captain Gordon at Blackgate Prison, requesting immediate medevac. Warden Joseph has been shot. Repeat, Warden Joseph is down. EMT chopper en route. TA 15 minutes. Where's Gordon? Sniper! Would your locals back for more? I've had enough of you for one night. Not yet, you haven't. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Screw this! Want the Joker? Take him. Help me keep these guys off the warden. the Joker. He went through that door. Towards the chapel. Thanks. a sentence you might learn something you might learn that we're not so different you might learn something about yourself you need to learn to shut up you know it's sad really makes me feel like you don't care to see the good side in me well i guess learning is a lot to ask from you meat for brains So sad. <laughs> Exist because. 
because of them! Give up! You've lost! to stop me! <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. And how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is, I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least that's what I used to think. Stop his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Maybe, maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. tried so hard, my dear, to show that you're my every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. <laughs> A memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? Another crime before my time made your heart sad and blue. 
And so now you make me pay for things I didn't do. In anger, unkind words are said that make the teardrops start. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? You'll never know how much it hurts to never see you smile. You know you need and want to laugh, <laughs> yet you claim it's not your style. Why do you hide behind that mask? I'm trying to do my part. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold? There was a time when I believed that you belonged to me. But now I know your heart is shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same and it's tearing me apart! Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? <laughs> <laughs> Our next guest, political strategist Dean Snyder, has been following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? And what about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon, for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy, but I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. It isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb, just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. And after what happened tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened, so we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison, and pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operations. We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. <laughs>
figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. It's been a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn in? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Not until you're back safe and sound. Well, if you're sure...